But the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart, and these defile them. That's a verse from Matthew 15:18, and actually one of those Bible verses that stuck to me growing up. It is a reminder that the heart symbolizes our innermost being, the source of our words and actions. Hey, it's May, and it's the 5th of May. I'm taking a three-minute break from work to talk to you about something important. I said it before, and I'll say it again. What may matter to me may not matter to you. And for me, words matter. Because whether I admit it or not, what other people say to me matters to me, and what I say to other people around me matters to them. The sad truth is, we say the most painful words when we're angry. I know because I was like that in the past, and I would admit maybe sometimes today still. I'm ashamed to admit, but I always win an argument. That is, if your definition of a winner is the one who hurts the other person the most. I remember back when I was in high school about 25 years ago. Oh my God, don't remind me. My sister and I would always get into an argument. She can get physical and all, but I just say something to her, a phrase, a sentence, and she will cry. I thought then, wow, words are so powerful. And it was so easy because I didn't have to make up stuff. I just look at the truth and facts around me and throw it at the other person. I didn't even have to use bad words or curse or have an angry tone. I can just smile and say painful words, and that was even worse. I became so good at using words as my defense mechanism, and I felt invincible. Nothing hurts me. Sad to say, I hurt other people a lot. My dad told me once that I have a sword for a tongue, and I should be careful with my words because it can make or break someone, and he would rather see me help people get better with my words than make them feel miserable. Yes, I work real hard to tame my tongue. It wasn't easy to just swallow all the words that I want to say, especially during an argument, but I felt I was getting better at it. What worked for me is breathing and stopping for a second or two to evaluate what I'm about to say before saying it. Sometimes it also works just to walk away from an argument, but you have to let the other person know that you're both highly emotional at the moment and need 5 or 10 minutes to calm down before talking again if you really need to settle an issue. Though there were times I feel like someone up there is punishing me for my cruel words before. I mean, I've been through relationships wherein the other person would call me names, belittle me, and just say painful words to me just to inflict pain. I probably deserve those words to pay for the words I said before, and I can accept that. But it's still sad and painful. I believe respect begets respect, love begets love, and good words beget good words. If we just continue to speak good words, then good words will come back to us. Thanks for listening to my words. I hope they were good for you. You'll see me tomorrow again, right? Stay safe, my friends. It's the 5th of May.